So we're here at our site in Park Farm in Cambridge, looking at Niab's work to date on companion cropping and the role it plays against the fight against cabbage slim flea beetle. So we've been working uh, on companion cropping studies for the last five years and these have evolved to include other treatments such as looking at different seed rates, alternative seed treatments uh, and also a range of smelly stuff like slurry. So when you're choosing a companion crop, what are you looking for? You want something that will have good, fast, early growth. You want something that is easily killed off, either by frosts or by herbicides. Something that will deter, attract, or confuse the flea beetle, reduce the larval burden, and ultimately help crop, crop establishment. We need to help that crop get up and away as fast as we can. In our companion crop studies over the last five years, we've been looking at a, a range of different uh, mixes, so legume mixes, linseed mixed with oriental brassicas such as pak choy and Chinese cabbage, fenugreek, buckwheat, white mustard and rocket. When we started these studies back in the autumn of 2015 and 2016, white mustard basically came through as the most viable option. But it's safe to say in the last three years of seasons, we've had some fairly variable weather conditions. In 2017, we had excellent rainfall and coupled with this was a low flea beetle pressure. So across the board, we managed to get very good establishment. Now the same couldn't be said for 2018 and 2019. In 2018 we had, uh, as you know, quite bad drought. This really affected establishment and the res results that we got from the trials. So in our 2019 season we expanded the trial work to look at three different sites. So we had one down in Sutton, Scotney, one up in the north in Morley and one here at our site in Cambridge. And in these trials we looked not only at companion cropping but also at different spray dates to spray the companion crops off. And also we used uh, plus or minus insect netting. So the same trials but with or without insect netting over them. Now it's always risky doing a uh, oil seed rape trial at Cambridge because of the high flea beetle pressures as we know um, and it's safe to say that the trial at Cambridge wasn't a massive success but we did get some good results. Uh, we found out quite a lot about the role of um, spray dates and spray timings when spraying off the mustard crop and also the effect that uh, insect netting can have on, on your trial site. So on my right here is uh, the oil seed rape crop when it was netted. Now you could say it's not looking great but actually on my left is what it looks like when you don't net. So this really demonstrated how hard it is actually to do a trial in Cambridge and also the benefit of insect netting. So what are our plans for 2020? Well, we still have a lot of research questions we want to answer and we plan to answer these questions using a range of small plot work and also farmer-led field scale trials. We have a lot of questions around uh, mustard and its removal during the season. So we plan to um, answer these questions that we have about the mustard using um, looking at different, different varieties, uh, different herbicide options and also looking at different spray timings. And we'll do this at, um, on small plot trials here at NIAB. We also have a lot of treatments that have come out of the last five years of, of companion crop trials and we plan to take these treatments into um, larger uh, field scale trials, so looking at split field comparisons or tremline trials. In tandem with this, uh, we'll also be continuing our crowdsourcing survey. So we had some really, really good um, results from the crowdsourcing survey last year and some excellent responses. We had over 1,100 responses to the survey. And we'll also be continuing our trapping work, moving the trapping further north, so moving it up past Lincolnshire, hopefully into Yorkshire, and also starting the trapping earlier in the season. So catching those flea beetles while they're in this, this season's crop and catch them as they're walking into next year's crop. So I hope you'll get involved with all this work, um, uh, whether it's the crowdsourcing surveys or any of the farmer-led trials.